Hello everybody! Today we came across two level 9 red deer and since I already had two of them in my lodge I decided to use some guns that would be a bit more challenging so I hope you all enjoy. But before we get into the video I would like to remind everyone to like, share, subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss an upload. If you would like to become a part of the crow's nest then be sure to join my discord where you can chat about anything called the wild as well as get notified when I go live on Twitch or post a video here on YouTube. The links to everything will be down below. But without further ado let's get into today's video. Ooh, looky there. That is a level 9 legendary red deer. That looks like the bigger rack too. So we'll get up closer to this guy. And see if we can take him with the muzzleloader, I think. Because I've already taken one with the Mosin. I've taken one with the 30 out 6. So it would be nice to take it with something a little bit different. There he is. 119 meters out. It is indeed the big rack, so this is a guaranteed diamond. Uh, let's see if we can sneak up to 50 meters and then we'll take it with the muzzle loader. And I am not going to use the scope because I want to try a little more challenging shot. So we'll see if we can get close enough to take a good shot at it. Ooh, we got wolves. We uh, might need to actually take him sooner than I thought. Uh, this might actually do. Ah, <sighs> no, there's no way I'll be able to hit that. I could, but it'd be very risky. Although it's going broadside now, so maybe that will... Mm, I don't want to risk it. However, this is going to give us some issues. Yeah, we got to take it. We got it. Oh my gosh. I am surprised that I was able to hit it from that distance. With so many wolves trying to rush me. The fact that I was even able to hit that. I'm very surprised. <sighs> Get that wolf out of here now. We almost lost it all because of that wolf. I can't believe that we got it down. But I'm super happy that we did. Let's get a quick picture of it. Alright, let's go ahead and claim this guy. See what it scores. 274. This is almost max score. Wow, that is incredible. Super happy with that. Now let's get out of here before these wolves take us out. Oh my gosh. Another one? Are you kidding me? We literally just got that one with the muzzleloader, not even six hours ago, and we come across another one. Well, I guess I gotta take this with something spectacular, so we'll head back to the tent and grab probably a shotgun. So I want to make this interesting. I really cannot believe our luck. The amount of legendary red deer we've been finding recently. It took me two weeks of searching for them to find my first, and now we've found four within the two weeks after that. That is incredible. All the time that I've spent red deer hunting has paid off, because we are finding rares and diamonds left and right. I've had to kind of loop around quite a bit because the wind is really bad and I didn't realize that it was blowing against my back, so... We're going to have to try and get them from a little different angle than what I originally was going to approach them at. Let's just hope that he gives us a shot once we get close. Because I did decide on using the 20 gauge shotgun with slugs. Because I feel like that will be a challenge. So we are going to go for that. This will be a little bit harder than using the muzzle loader Because the 20 gauge slugs do not have nearly as much penetration. But they are uh, usable for red deer. So... I decided to give them a shot. But I do want to get pretty close, preferably within 50 meters. 
because I don't want to take anything longer than that at the risk of under penetration. Look at that giant rack sticking over. Unfortunately, there's a female in his way. Hopefully, once we get closer, she'll be out of his way. Okay, we should be really close now. Uh, I'm not able to see them because they are over this hill. But we should be right up on them now. I'm at an angle to where the wind is just barely missing them, so hopefully we will be fine there. I haven't heard any warning calls, so I'm guessing they are still just chilling here. I better get my shotgun out, because I don't know if I'm going to have it just walk up on me or not. So I need to be prepared. There he is. He's right there. Now we just need to get a little bit closer, and we should be able to take a shot. That should be good. Or not. Ooh, did we not get it? That should have hit. That should have been enough. Ah. No, did we screw him up? We might have. Oh. No, maybe not. I think we actually got him. It says bleed rate very low, but... He died really fast, so I feel like we hit vital. I could not find the impact, but I think we got him. Because I don't think he should be able to run that far if we missed vitals with a 20 gauge. So I think we're okay. Here he is. I think we got it. Ah, mm, I don't know, but I think we did. Uh... So nerve-wracking. Did we screw him up or did we actually get him? Alright, well, let's see. Did we screw him up or did we get him? No, we hit vertebrae. Ah. I didn't even check my zeroing, so that's probably why. No. Ah, are you kidding me? Oh well. Um, at least we were able to get the one with the muzzle loader. <sighs> it was bound to happen eventually using these guns that are not optimal for red deer. But <sighs> we still got him. That's all that matters. That is another legacy diamond rack to go in the lodge. It hurts me to have to put this guy in the failed diamonds area. He is with everything else that I have screwed up in the past trying to use guns that were not meant for these animals. But he still looks great. And it will make this section of the lodge look a little less empty. But unfortunately this is the section of the lodge that needs to look empty. <laughs> but I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Uh, I will continue to try to kill diamonds with weird weapons as, as much as I can. I'm thinking next time we might try a bow. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that, but thank you guys for watching the video. Peace, my dudes.